that okay, if, if, if your argument, not, if you're asking me, it seems just, like it seems like you're you're no, I just I just responded. Does it have it wasn't anything dialogue. to do do black people leaving the South and going to inner cities and other? He just answered that question for you. Anything? To, no, I said, does it have anything to do with the KKK Very little to lynchings yes. and violence in the South that black people face? So what it has to do with is the fact that black people continue. No, answer my question. No, Very little you're, to nothing. Does it? Yes or no? Very you're little. You're not allowing answer. me to, okay, Listen, you're not going to be like, you're not my boss. So don't do tell me, shit. don't tell me how I have to answer your question, okay? okay? Nobody's, in, nobody's intimidated no. from you telling me how I'm, I'm going to answer your question. I'm not trying to intimidate you. I'm you're trying not to have gonna an cut, honest conversation. You're not going to cut me off, okay? I'm trying to have an honest conversation with you. Why don't you stop exercising your invisible white privilege and let the black girl talk for a second, okay? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back to a new video. So today we're going to be checking out Candace Owens and Charlie Kirk knocks a white laborer with fats. Do white laborers speak for black Americans? Okay, this is going to be really interesting. Go ahead and try to kick actually. People love kicking us. Let's get right into today's video. Was there ever a point in history where white privilege did exist? No. Um, yeah, I suppose uh, when we lived in a country where if you were black, uh, you were not allowed to go into certain places, right? I suppose you could say again, and not, that's not, I guess that wouldn't be white privilege, you would call that uh, Nordic privilege in the progressive era when there were signs that said Irish need not apply, so that's, that's a different, that is white on white, a lack of a privilege. Uh, of course, there's examples in the history of the world where you would have been privileged if your skin was white, especially in this country and in other countries as well, but today, no, white privilege does not exist. When did it end? Over time, beginning with the civil rights era, it's not a particular incident or moment, but multi-generations, the country became significantly less racist. I would say after Reconstruction, after the Civil War, after, you know, when we had desegregation, fought the Democrat institutional racism, we fought back against the KKK, when the Civil Rights Act was signed, um, when blacks were allowed to participate in Major League Baseball, the National Football League, the National Basketball Association, served at elected office, all those things, you know, contributed to the end of the, what used to be privilege in, in society, white privilege. You said less racist. When is, so it, is it still somewhat no. racist? No. Do you just have questions? I think. Like, no, you said you wanted a dialogue. I'm happy to have a conversation. Oh, okay. Um, no. It's the least racist country it's, in the world. No, America is not a racist country today. Is it, is there, is it still racist? So no. There, no. There's certain, you can't answer the question. It ended when it ended. I, I just no. did. Okay, no, I, I, you did it. You said I'll, less I will racist. answer. I'll answer. I'm answering you. Thank you. When it stopped being systemic, when there stopped being laws in yes. place that stopped That's me a as a black answer. person doing what you are able to do as a white man. No, I'm not asking that. Systemic you, racism is not just is not simply that issue. Yes, you you just asked me to define when it stopped being when this what country stopped being racist. That's you, the answer. When? That I can't give you the exact date and time and hour. I'm telling you give when. Me the decade. What do you Mid mean? 1970s. <laughs> yeah, about, about, Mid 1970s. Yeah. So mass incarceration affecting black and brown communities disproportionately they committed, to their population. Because they committed mm. more crimes. They yeah, committed well, more, yeah. As to why? Why did they commit more crimes? It's because because they we ripped black, apart the family. Because it's of their not, economic situation. It's, and it's the, absolute, I'm not fucking talking to you, dude. Why don't wait, calm. Why are liberals so angry? I can't figure out why I'm you're angry. Why are you angry? I'm not a liberal, right so stop assuming my political okay, well, you're, affiliation. Okay, but well, you just came out of nowhere and just start cursing. No, you I think invited I, me up here, raised my I hand, know, and but you I'm said, saying you just turned around no, and you're cursing at someone. The, why don't you calm down? It's just a conversation. I'm perfectly calm. I Nobody, can curse. You don't have to turn calm. around and curse anyone behind you. I can. You're, you're it's okay. It's a free country, right? Okay. No, no. But I'm saying that it's not necessary to have this dialogue for you to turn around and be angry. I do always remark, and I am going to suspect that you are liberal because right now you're trying to sell me my own. I'm not liberal. You're selling me my own oppression, so that's a very liberal I'm stance. Liberal. Usually when a white man stands up and tells me that, yes, I, I this is a, a racist country and is oppressed, they do tend to be liberal. Only liberals try to sell me my oppression. But I'm not. But, okay, I'm not going to assume your Thank your you. your Thanks. political ideology. So here's... Yes, here's, I do. Here, I mean, to answer your question for me, when the system stops being racist and there's nothing stopping us, and you brought up the prison the prison rates, and you said something that was actually really important. You said it's because their communities have been economically depressed. So that would not be uh, because of the color of your skin. That, that's economic privilege. If you ask me whether or not I believe in economic privilege, I would tell you yes. If you ask me whether or not I think that somebody born into a family of billionaires has more, will have be afforded more privileges in life than somebody that is born in the projects of Chicago, I would say yes, because economic privilege in this country does exist. But there is nothing, there is no law in place that is stopping a person because of the color of their skin from gaining that economic mm. privilege, which is why I do not believe that white privilege, which is based upon the color of your skin, mm. exists. Is black poverty and white poverty different? Do no. they face different? No, that's poor a, is poor. That's a, that's a lie. White people are more <laughs> right, likely right. to 
to be in rural poverty, which is different than urban poverty. That's because in black people cities. don't live in rural parts of America. What? That's because black people don't live in rural parts of America. Why? Historically, why? Why did black people flock? Because of Lyndon Baines urban Johnson, urban planning, central, central planning, great society, where he said, we are going to verticalize the black community, destroy the black father, introduce drugs in the late 1960s, subsidize single motherhood, which used to be 22% in the 1960s, which is now 73%. Only a government program could make something like that happen. Did it, have any, did it have anything to do with the lynchings in the South and the hostility towards black people in the South? Well, first off, you, you that, say- Is there you, any reason you're, you're why sitting, they left the South just so, just so everybody that, knows, uh, literally half, not half, but one third of the people that were lynched in the South were white Republicans. So Republicans were being lynched in the South um, as well. So let's oh, not pretend well. That okay, that's if, if, fine, if your argument, not, if you're asking me, it you're seems just, like a what about it seems you like you're you're else. no, I just address, I just responded because it, have it was a dialogue. Does it anything to do do black people leaving the South and going to inner cities and other? He just parts answered that question for you. Anything to no? I said, does it have anything to do with the KKK Very little lynchings yes. and violence in the South that black people face? So what it has to do with is the fact that black people continue. No, no, answer my question. No, Very little or nothing. It. Yes or no. Very you're little. You're not allowing answer. me to, okay, listen, you're not going to be like, you're not my boss. So don't tell me, shit. don't you tell me how I have to answer your question. Okay? Nobody's, in, nobody's intimidated no. from you telling me how I'm, I'm going to answer your question. I'm not trying to intimidate you. I'm trying to have an honest conversation. Okay? No, I'm trying to have an honest conversation with you. Why don't you stop exercising your invisible white privilege and let the black girl talk for a second, okay? That's nice. No, this has nothing to do with that. Okay, so to answer your question, so white privilege Everything exists. Wait, 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 wait. No, I said invisible white, white privilege. I then? said invisible white privilege. If you listen, of course okay? it's invisible. White so privilege is not first, a tangible white thing. White privilege does not exist. Economic privilege does exist. Okay. If you're asking me, do I think the black community has been crippled economically? The answer would be yes. It has been crippled economically by Democrat policies. You just heard Who me say that. Who cares? Who does it? I, I Democrats care. are Americans. Democrats you, are in America, so therefore you, you just admitted that, you, that there has been disadvantages it, by two black people by Democrats. It is, it is not American. based you off just of the. It. it is not based off. You ask no. me if no. white privilege exists. The answer is white privilege because you're born white. That means you're going to not you have just, this or that. It does not exist. No, it does not exist. You just admitted that the Democrats, the boogeyman Democrats, they're not boogeyman. They exist. The boogeyman people. doesn't exist. No. Sixty years Democrats ago. Democrats do exist. They did it. So boogeyman means doesn't they exist. Just so you know, they're Democrats. So you admit that it exists. Sixty. I don't think you're you're comprehending. Yeah. You're not, so you're not I'm not sure that you are. You said sixty that the, years ago, white people had it better than black people. Over time, there's no more systemic laws that are in place. What? what let, let me let me ask you a question. What, okay, let me ask you a question. What can a white person do, do that a black person cannot do today in today's America? Name one thing. Well, black people answer the question. Isn't I'm that isn't that how this works? Fucking question. Black people who smoke marijuana, black and white people smoke marijuana at the same rates. Yet a black person is three to four times more likely to be put that. in jail for that. Okay. okay and I know the reason why, because yeah, the police are in the no, urban communities, it's no, easier to police those communities. Sure. Because actually, that, I had a girlfriend, I had a family member who got a DUI, and I had a girlfriend who got a DUI. Just to let you know I, I, by I, just saying what you're saying and standing up here and knowing what's going on through the police brutality. Doing justice. I love this. Stuff. this is so, You're I, guys, I, I love that joke. behind me there's like black people rolling their eyes, but the two white guys are yelling at me, telling me that I don't agree with them. It's, it's, this is what I love about white liberals, right? Like they know it's so important You're a for them to sell us no, our oppression that they'll come up and tell us we're in the race. Just say, just say, just say it, just say it, just say it. you speak for Well, why don't you stop speaking for black people? That would be great, okay? I'm not. Straight. That guy pissed Candace Owens off she pissed him he pissed her off he pissed her off like i know i've seen candace kind of like pissed or angry or goes off at some people but this was extreme really really extreme let me call should i call him the white guy the white guy right there who's speaking for black people he's should i call, should I call him very rude very rude he's also smog but at the same time um he just wants to prove to Candice Owens and Charlie Kirk that what they're saying is wrong. He don't, he's, he's not there for a dialogue conversation. He's not there to hear their own feedback, but that whatever they're saying, if it's true or false, no. He just wants to just prove to them that what they are saying is wrong and they are oppressing other black people who are saying white privilege exists. That's, that was just his mission. But the, the, the annoying thing and the thing that is bad about his mission is that he has no sense. He has absolutely no sense upstairs 
Because you can come there and talk to Candace Owens and Charlie Kirk, who have been talking to other people before you came right there. And it's literally the same conversation that all we having. I've I've watched this like other conversation of different people about this um white privilege is a lie. Before this guy came right there, there are other people who have kind of who Candace Owens and Channel Cake have answered the questions. So this this white guy coming up to repeat the same question, trying to point it to Candace Owens and Channel Cake that they're saying nonsense ever since, makes no sense. If you if you can get what I'm saying. The the white dude right there is just He's just rude. That is right what I'm going to use. He's just rude. And he doesn't give a fuck about anybody. And he's a Libra. And he's denying it. He's totally denying it. Because you, you can't come there and say white privilege exists. Whereas you can't prove anything. The only thing you can prove is about marijuana and people smoking. That that's, that makes no sense. If you were to tell me in the, in the late 1960s, 1970s, White privilege exists, um, black has black were oppressed. Okay. Yeah, it's true. It's possible. It's happened. I will accept it. But that shit does it does does not work now. The the, the white privilege of a thing, the oppression, it does not it does not happen right now in this twenty first century. It's it has absolutely stopped. Black people are are waiting for reparation are demanding for reparation, whereas there should not be any garden reparation. Because the white people who are living in society never own a slave, never maltreated them, never done anything black to anything bad to black people. So black people should not wait for reparation. So this 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 white guy, this white laborer right here, who is coming to speak for black people, makes no sense. If you had to watch Candace Owens and Charlie Cake that back, there's also a black man right there who, who just wants to hold the microphone and attack the white liberal guy who was speaking. He was he was firing. So give me the mic, give me the mic. You are speaking for black people, and the black people you are speaking for are attacking you back. The how dare you speak for them? It makes absolutely no sense. You understand? So the white liberal right there is <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna call him. He was just rude. The entire conversation was just rude. Then the second white liberal guy who came right there to, to get a microphone and say, Khan is always an embarrassment. How dare he come and say Khan is always an embarrassment? For, for speaking the truth, someone is not an embarrassment. Like, we can't speak the truth anymore. If you speak the truth, you're an embarrassment. So she should, she should support the systemic racism that um, the white liberal is talking about that white people are being treated differently and black people are being treated different, differently. It just does not happen. It does not happen anymore. It happened in the late 60s, late 70s, true. But that era has been ended a long time ago. This video was interesting to watch. I love how Candace Owens stand up uh, for what she believes in and goes off on the white labor. And also Charlie Keck was there to support. I love the backing by Charlie Keck. He he really supported her and they dismantled the, the white labor totally. This was amazing to watch. Comment down below, think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore.